Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and this is Rachel Ray Fiber Arts, my channel about cross stitch and knitting and all the fiber arts eventually. But today's video is really special because it is my whip parade. Whip, W-I-P, stands for work in progress. So these are all of the projects that I'm still working on that are not finished. They've been started, but they're not finished. Please pardon my voice today. I have been putting off this video for several days because I am a fellow sufferer of hay fever. And um, yeah, it's just not clearing up anytime soon. So I guess we'll have to work with what we have. Um, I have in my Notion website, the template that I use to organize myself. I have 29 whips, but I also have at least two, maybe three that are not in there yet um, that I forgot about and I don't know the start date and I have to do a little digging and research. So I'll do those at the end. I'll share those with you at the end. Um, if you need links to anything, please leave a comment. And yeah, with that, thank you for being here. Thank you for spending time with me. And let's look at what changed between last year and this year. I made a whip parade video in August of 2023. So I know I'm a little bit early, technically, but I wanted to line this up with the solstice. So here we are. Um, so I'm going to share with you, uh, in chronological order as much as possible, my whips, starting with my oldest whip, which is, uh, I'll show you the picture from last year, Galaxy Unicorn by Cats Coffee and Crafts on Etsy. They are no longer on Etsy. I started this on January 17th of 2020. This is on an 18 count opalescent Ada by Mystic Fabrics in Galaxy, I believe. And that's where we are now. I did do a, quite a bit of work on this, actually, uh, for Whipgo this year. And it's looking good. I am over 50% complete. So yeah. It looks really good when it's not too close up. Uh, this is the project that made me realize that I do not like two strands on 18 count. And this was a gift for my friend Mrs. Copy. Uh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? I don't want to have to stop and start, so I will just chat with you while I get everything together. Um... Yeah, this is my oldest whip. I think there might be one other project. <clears throat> that may be questionably older than this, but it's, um, it's embroidery, so I don't wanna count that. And I keep this in my Books Art Liberty sleeve uh, it's a Bridgerton bag from season one. It says I burned for you. Very cute. It's a big deal. <laughs> At the time. The new one was pretty good too. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Got flosses attaching themselves. All right. Next up. Book number two is Grimm's Fairy Tales Stitch Along. This is where it was last year by Clouds Factory. I started this March 18th, 2020. And here is where it is now. So I have completed the far right corner. This is on 16 count olive oil by Barbaral Creations. It's a beautiful shade of green. 
Barbara Roll Creations is on Etsy. And I keep it in a book sleeve from uh, nope. Trying to think of the store. Is it on here? It's, uh, love you more. Love you more. <clears throat> Had a bit of a, a brain skip there. All right, this one. This one, I'm I'm sure that a lot of people are anticipating to see this being worked on very soon. This is Soul of the Rose by Heaven and Earth Designs. I started this March 24th, 2020. And since I've started Notion, I have not touched this project. I haven't touched this project in a very long time. Um, I talked about it in my last whip parade. So it is actually in the same spot. Um, this was, I, I intended to take this out for a marathon for missing and murdered indigenous women, girls and two-spirit peoples, but um, I wanted to work on something that was closer to reaching my goals at that time. Um, my overall goal was to finish this before I was 40. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Um, I don't have anything against this, but it is just a lot of confetti and sometimes I'm not in the mood for that. Most of the time I am not in the mood for that, but I'm sure that this will get some love. It is two over, two over one tenth stitch. Technically it's half stitch and not tenth stitch. I need to properly tenth stitch this. But so far so good and um oh there's a little bit of um there we go that's a little better um stuff from the iron there but anyway yeah this has uh 87 colors it's a lot it's a lot um and you'll see i only have two heaven and earth designs for this reason where did i put the bag oh, there it is. And I keep this actually in a tote bag <laughs> because it is that large. Luna gave me the opportunity to go get a drink, so. Cheers. Another drink, a cold drink. Hopefully get rid of this post nasal drip that I've got going on. All right, we are still in 2020. It's a lot of 2020 here today, but I have I have some some plans for the next couple. Not this one, but the next couple after that. This one is Chinese Zodiac Sal by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I started this May 7th, 2020, and this is where it was last year. Mm -hmm. Here is where it is now. I managed to complete the corner down here and it is looking really good. Very close to 50% and this is stitched. Oh dear, I'm gonna have to click into it or look in the bag. What is easiest? We'll do this together. Heirloom 28 Count Brittany by Pole Stitches. So this is called Heirloom by Pole Stitches. And it is a beautiful Lugana. I actually love it a lot. I kind of wish that I had um, sewn the edges a little bit because it is giving me a little bit of trouble. Like as far as fraying goes, it's not great. And I'm keeping that in my So Much To Love bag that I got from Michelle Bendy Stitchy. And got all my threads in my Crafty Emily bag. This project just makes me really happy. It's so fun and it stitches up really quick. Even though you have to change colors a lot, the colors are really happy. So I like it. And this was a 2020 sale. All right, oops, I pressed the wrong button. 
Of course I did. Whoops. All right, here we go. Next up. <clears throat> strands. Okay. This is, and this has not changed since last year, this is Grazing Sheep by Doreen Jones. I started this on May 8th, 2020. Nothing has happened to this whip. Um, I know that I talked about it. I talked about it several times actually in the past couple months, but plans have been all up in the air these days because of real life stuff and you know when you have like you have the expectations that you'll do something yeah um it just it isn't happening the way I want it to this is in a Cal's Crafts bag with a um, bags plus bobbin organizer And I like, I like this fabric. This is a baby blue from XJU Design. I believe I have it written here. Yeah, a custom 28 count Lugana. It literally hasn't moved. Just haven't been able to stitch as much as I have wanted in a while. Um, I have been focusing really hard on the projects that are most meaningful to me. So, and because I just spent like a month off away from home doing other things, I just didn't stitch a lot. So we will get there again. I just need time. And just to give you an idea, if I didn't say it before, Soul of the Rose was March 24th, 2020. Chinese Zodiac was May 7th and um, Grazing Sheep was May 8th. The same day, May 8th, I started another project. This one has been getting a lot of focus lately. This is Miss Cherry Blossom by Mirabilia and she is stitched on a very loose 32 count that feels like 28 count. Um, and I believe that the, let's see here. Yeah, it's called Heart Stitch Designs and it's called Enchanted Dawn. It's a beautiful fabric, let me show you. So last year, this year, I have done so much stitching on Miss Cherry Blossom in the past year, and I am about 57%, I believe, 57% of the way through. She is stunning. She's beautiful, and this fabric is gorgeous. I cannot wait to finish her, get the beads on, and frame her. She's beautiful. I'm doing the skin one over one. And all of those gaps are for beads. I have not done her hand yet. I came down here to work in the skirt and it is just amazing. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, May 8th. I could not wait to start Miss Cherry Blossom. I love this project. It was a gift from a fellow floss tuber, Linda's 144 Hobbies. And it's so beautiful. I keep it in another Love You More book sleeve. The book sleeves are okay, uh, but I think I might have to change it for this project. It does wrinkle the linen. All right, who's next? Okay, this is one that I am tempted to UFO. 
I have not touched this project in three years, so there's no before picture because it's exactly the same as it is right now. This is Bellflower by Bothy Threads. I think I'm just going to put this away. I'm going to put it back into my to be done pile. I don't like stitching on it. I think it's the fabric. It's itchy. It's coarse. Um, the colors are okay. The chart is horrible. I would, I would need to rechart this into a digital pattern. I cannot with the paper pattern. It's very hard to read. It's all black and white and, um, life is too short. So this one is actually going to come out of of its bag it's gonna go back into like a sleeve and maybe maybe I'll use it as an auction item or something though I think the kits are really cheap so maybe if I pair it with a nice bag and a nice fabric it can be restarted um, I thought I would enjoy it but I really really don't the, the pattern is uh, it's just too annoying for me personally so this is gonna go over here because uh, I don't want to I don't want to do it anymore and I'm gonna change that to finished finished until I can get rid of it properly okay so next up sorry for drinking but it is or is irritated. <laughs> All right. Next up is Twisted Rainbow Sampler. I don't think I've actually made any progress on this either. No, I haven't. I haven't. It's exactly the same as it was last year when I showed it. Which is which is a shame because this is such a beautiful project. This is Northern Expression Needleworks Twisted Rainbow Sampler. And it has the specialty stitches. It is gorgeous. It requires a lot of light to stitch with. I'm not a fan of the paper pattern, uh, but I just haven't. I, I have focused on other projects instead for Pride Month, for um, just in general. I have been focusing on other things. So I have not been able to give it the attention it deserves, but <clears throat> if you are interested, there is a Dinky Dyes Silk Pack available from my friend, Mislaid Pages. You can find our floss tube, Mislaid Pages, and also the website, mislaidpages.com. I think they even have the chart. But this is a 28 count black Lugana, just Zweigart. And uh, I do I do love this project. I want to keep it. I just haven't felt the pull. And I guess I could talk about it now. I think I'm going to abandon Whipco for the rest of the year. That was supposed to be a Whipco call for me this month. I have had a lot of time to reflect on this year and the rest of this year is going to be chaos. I do not want to feel disappointed in myself for not being able to keep up with my crafts. So I'm just going to abandon Whipgo this year and we're going to start fresh next year when I will have much more time to spend on those things. That was started May 16th of 2020. Then, is this, no, this is not my last 2020, this, we're getting close. <laughs> this has not changed. This is Sheep Heap from Plum Street Samplers, started May 24th, 2020. This is, good question. What are you? <laughs> What are you? Th 
32 count oaken by Picture This Plus. I have stitched one day on this project and I am going to retire it. I'm going to rip off the sheep and I'm going to reuse this fabric for something else. This is such a precious piece of fabric now for me living in Ireland with all the problems about shipping and customs and the turnaround time of Picture This Plus. I, I do not have a very strong pull towards this project. It is super cute, but it's not me anymore. I don't want it. It's got weeks in it. I don't want to work with weeks. So that, oh, wrong pile. That is leaving my whip pile. So we are going to go sheep heap finished. All right. I'm just temporarily making it finished on, on my Notion database. If you need a link to the database, check out the description box of this video. Okay. Next up is <clears throat> Trick or Treat by The Drawn Thread. I don't know if I've worked on this. I don't think I have since our last video. But here's where it was last year. This is on a piece of dirty. I'm just gonna check my paper a little bit faster. Uh, yeah, 32 count dirty, and I think that that's Zweigart. I'm doing one strand over two on this to make it look a little bit older than it really is. And it's super cute. I love it. Um, I just, I just don't pick it up very often. I should. And I'm keeping this in a My Cottage 9 bag. It's a one of a kind. So I'd like to get this finished, hopefully this year since some other plans of mine for the spooky season have been waylaid I think I might bring this out in like September when I move I, I have to move again <laughs> uh, it's a long story but basically we have to leave the house and go downstairs there's a little apartment downstairs uh, while we're having renovations done on our house up here so I'm going to bring a couple projects and get those done. And I don't know how long it's going to take. So there's that. All right. That was started on October 1st of 2020. And now we come to our last 2020 whip. So this, this was a start for high tea with Caroline of Off the Grid Needle Arts, Evertotes fame, Stitch North hostess. Um, this is Baked Alaska by Glendon Place. It is beautiful. This chart picture is really not giving it the justice it deserves. Um, I did like one day of stitching on this and I've never touched it since. I am ready to retire this temporarily. I do not want to get rid of it because I love the Dinky Dyes conversion pack I got from Mislaid Pages. I love working with silk. I even really love the fabric that it's on. I do not love the way I started this started it in the middle of a insanely, no, not insanely, obscenely large piece of fabric. And I, I messed up a little bit. I put the beads on before I should have, because I used Q-snaps. Look at this blanket. That's only the halfway point. Like, that's a very large piece of fabric and I'm not utilizing it properly. This is a custom 
blue from XJU Design. And that is all I have done. And, you know, now is not the time. I am not in my Glendon Place era. I think I'm going to wrap it up. Excuse me. I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to put it away into my to be started pile because it is fully kitted with beads and the silk and the beautiful, beautiful fabric. But right now is not the time. I do not have the patience for that chart right now. When I started it, I realized that I didn't have patience for that chart right now. So I'm going to retire this one as well, but it will come back in the future, just not now. I have enough and that is a big project. It's a, it's a bath. Alright, where did I put, there it is. Okay, just making sure that I have everything and that it's not falling away. What's next? The new normal. Alright. Another bab. See what I mean? I can only have so many at a time. I really, I really should learn. This is the new normal as it was last year. Uh, this is the Long Dog Samplers chart. It was started on my birthday, February 22nd, 2021. Um, and this has gotten yearly love. Um, and this is where it is now. It's actually, I brought that all the way over here. So that is the side, the end of the project. There we go. So, um, we have the first bubble is done, the second bubble is started, this is the one with the cats, and I was very antsy and decided I want to go all the way to the end and make sure that this fabric is going to fit, and it does, it fits, and it will definitely fit going down. <laughs> this beautiful piece of fabric is called Aurora Borealis by Mislaid Pages, my friend Jesse. We've been friends for a really, really long, like college. So yes, I will get anything Jesse. Um, Jesse's the one that made me cross stitch. Like I used to just diamond paint and now I cross stitch and it's all Jesse's fault. So this is the new normal. I'm just using 310. I'm doing two strands over two fabric threads on 28 count Lugana. It is big and it's going to be beautiful. And I absolutely adore it. My, my birthday start. And this project is kept in a bag that was made for me by my friend Marissa, the crafty heifer on YouTube. Such a cute bag. I love it. Yeah, I'm just using 310 off the cone. I got a cone of 310. This project made me realize just how much I love monochromatic stitching. I adore monochromatic stitching. Uh, as long as it doesn't get boring. And I'll explain myself in a little while when we get to that project. Because <laughs> there is a project. All right. Um, okay. Next up is an ink circles chart. This is called Small Burbs, and I know that I've worked on it since last year, so here's the picture. This is started May 10th, 2021, and here is where we are now. This stitching is incredibly small, by the way. I feel like I have to point it out. Um, this is one strand over one fabric thread full cross on is it 32 count 
Oh, I didn't. I didn't write it down. It's in the bag. It's teeny tiny. Uh, this is probably, I think this is the smallest stitching I have so far, size wise. Six five blue eyes. Oh no, I'm wrong. It's 28 count. And the color is called The Greens by Fortnite Fabrics. I'm using my own color conversion because I had some wild flosses in my stash. Unfortunately, Fortnite Fabrics is no longer in business, but that is a beautiful piece of green fabric that I won from their Facebook group. Who knows, maybe one day they'll come back, I don't know. It's one of those projects that looks smaller than it is. Oh well. Another bab that doesn't look like a bab right now is Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. I know I've worked on this, so I will show you the before picture. This is Carriage House Samplings. I'm stitching it one strand over one fabric thread. I might as well bring out the bag so I can check. One strand over one fabric thread on 25 count Lugana by B Stitch Me called S'mores. So from far away, that's what it looks like. Let me get it nice and close. I worked on the fire. Worked on the flames. Trying to make sure that I was isolating a mistake that I made. Because of course I made a mistake. Because this is a paper chart. That me, me and my friend Heike decided that we were going to stitch on this together. But last year, last year was hard. So... It didn't end up happening. We were gonna do a stitch along. It didn't end up happening. It's okay. It's no big deal. They're really start alongs, right? But I did not touch this very much because I am waiting for Heike to be ready to pick it up and stitch. But if you saw Heike's, okay, Heike is Stone Cold Coffee Crafts on Instagram and YouTube. Hopefully she'll make a comeback. Please follow her. She is a voracious stitcher. Uh, she started Miss Cherry Blossom and finished her, all the stitching in her in 12 days. So if you like fast stitchers who stick with one project for the whole time and they just finish things, follow Heike. Um, this is the pro this is my problem. As soon as I start Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow with my best friend. She's going to fly past me so fast um, because she's doing like 1,200 stitches a day and there's there ain't no way. There ain't no way that I can do that. So <laughs> I should probably keep stitching this. We did digitize the pattern for our own uh, our own ease of stitching. Um, Obviously, we both have the pattern as well, but we did that and we are going to stitch this and it makes it so much faster when it's digital for us and our needs, our, our eyeballs that have been, I don't know, maybe I've watched too much TV and now I can't pay attention to paper. I do read books though. The Jade War series is amazing. Sidebar. Next up, okay. Remember when I told you about I really like monochromatic, sti monochromatic stitching as long as it's not boring. This is not a dig at this designer. This is a dig at my brain. I don't know why my brain thinks that patterns that repeat are boring, but I cannot get my brain to let me finish this project. This, no, it's in the same place. Never mind. This is Cryptid S Stitch Along by the Witchy Stitcher. And it's so cool. It's really, really cool. But it's so similar that my brain is bored. 
I have been stuck here for a year. I did not pick this up. I don't know if it's a combination of the color of the fabric that my eyes are like, whoa, no. Or if it's just, cause it's not 310. I love to stitch in 310, but all of the borders around the characters are so similar that the only thing that's different is the character and the, the words and the size of the thing. So I think there's a part of my brain that just needs irregularity. Does that make sense? Anyway, this is on. Yeah. I'm using a Bags Plus bag again. These are so cute. I really like these trifolds. Aren't they adorable? Uh, oh. Please tell me that I wrote down that information. It's, it's getting to be so, so, so far away that I did not write it down. <laughs> Hang on. It's Bee Stitch Me. I want to say Dreamsicle, Creamsicle, but I, I don't think that's right. I've lost the paper for the fabric, but it's a Bee Stitch Me and it is the brightest orange you've ever seen in your life. So if that helps you to find it, did I, is it on this piece of paper? Usually I'm more organized than that. But this this project I started, oh dear, I didn't give you dates again, did I? This one was started August 6th of 2021. I started Small Burbs on May 10th and Halloween at Hawker and Hollow on July 8th. I'm terrible at giving stats. This is how my brain works. This is why I'm pretty sure I have undiagnosed ADHD. I'm so sorry, but I hope you're following me. I hope you're following my, my train of thought and at least I'm entertaining you in some capacity, even if you're laughing at me a little bit, that's fine. Excuse me, I'm gonna blow my nose. Okay, we are halfway-ish through my whips. If you need to pause and get a drink, you can do that. I don't mind. All right. This, I'll move over. This is Christmas by Renato Perlin. This is a beautiful chart that I got from his Etsy store. Um, it is a paper chart, not a digital chart. Again, this is one that I think I'm going to spend some time digitizing for myself because the paper pattern is incredibly hard to read uh, for me. I have, I have big issues with paper charts in general. Um, this one is printed on a funny paper. It is legible. And I'm sure that people don't, that don't have my issues would be fine, but I digress. This is where I was at the time. I was at the top of the tree and literally, I think I spent two or three days doing this crazy thing because I was worried that I didn't have enough fabric to complete it. So <laughs> I went down the center of this tree and I went all the way across just to make sure that I had enough room. And yes, I did park my threads. So this is going to look a little funky from now on because I'm going to have to finish these threads and then I'm going to keep going down the tree. But at least I know that it fits. It fits with that much margin. Bottom's fine. Sides. At the bottom, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be rough stitching this bottom part of the chart, but this is what I signed up for with this piece of fabric. This, 
piece of fabric is a Fortnite Fabrics in Morel 32 count Lugana and I started it December 1st of 2021 and I think I showed you a picture but this is the paper I'm talking about this is how the chart is printed and really poor photograph of what it will look like at the end I saw it oops that just fell off I saw someone had finished it many many moons ago it must have been in July of 21 and I decided that I needed it why did I put the bag away when I didn't put the fabric away I'm not well y'all this hay fever has me feeling like I got the flu And I know some of y'all are going to tell me to go get a COVID test. <laughs> Maybe I should. I don't know. I do. I do feel sick though. And it's not nice. All right. Next up. Ooh. It's in a different bag. Where are you? You're over here. Oops. Sorry. Next one is... My epic Gen 1 Pokemon. So some of these are in Q-snaps and stuff because I don't want to take them off. I did iron all of the projects that I'm taking from this pile. Not these though. This, because it's just too big. It's too big. I don't know how to explain. This is where Epic Gen 1 Pokemon was last year. This is by Lord Libidin. It is a free pattern and it is massive. What's going on outside? <laughs> Quick aside, we moved into the family home that is up the driveway from my brother-in-law and his restaurant. He lives above the restaurant. It's been in the family for generation the the restaurant is down there we share this driveway and so all of his recycling and everything comes up the side here in front of the office in front of my craft room so that's what that sound was um okay so this is my floss monster This is my information. Okay, so December 2nd, 2021, 18 count hand dyed Ada. Gotta catch them all, Sal. I think I've worked on this like a, for like a week, and that's it in total. But this is where I am. This is the extended version, so the Pokemon don't cut off on the sides like in the original. Um, and I've dyed the Ada this color because it is the, the sky color, the background color that's in the chart. And instead of stitching all of that in blue, I just decided to make my fabric blue instead. So I'm just doing the outlines of all the Pokemon. And this is where we are. With all of the blue already done, this is about 20% done, which seems wrong, but that's what it says in Pattern Keeper. All right, so that's Gen 1 Pokemon. And then my other very large project. I like big projects and I cannot lie. <laughs> this is my Zen Moss Garden Chatelaine. I don't think I've I've done nothing to it. Do you know what? I'm not going to take it out of the bag. I will show you a close-up picture of, of it, a still from last year. This has not changed um, because I do not have... Actually, I will, I will take it out. We're doing adult show and tell, right? This project is unwieldy. I have plans for this project, 
but it is it is huge. This is 28 count black Zweigart Lugana. And this is just the center motif. I would love to finish this, uh, but I, I cannot commit to doing this because I do not have a place to set this up yet. We moved here in February and I was hoping that I would have the front room of this house, the kind of sitting room, not the living room, but the sitting room, I thought I would have that cleaned and organized by now, and unfortunately that hasn't happened. Um, but I need a permanent stand for this project. I would like a permanent stand for this project and for my hay. I'd, I'd like to, to have them sitting in the front room, sitting room, the nice room so that in the morning I could put in an hour or something to these projects and have the morning light in the summertime. That is the plan one day, <laughs> but sadly that is not now and there's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. Not until we actually get this house renovated. All right, this one, I freaked out a little bit because I thought that I had lost it. Um, and then I remembered that I put it in a different suitcase from coming back from Stitch North. This is Transpride Tapestry last year. Oh, it still has all of my needle minders and they're catching on each other. Let me take these off. I'm pretty sure this is the same as it was when you saw it in my last floss tube update. Uh, this project is so gorgeous. Too many needle minders though. All right, that's good enough. I'm sorry that it's not ironed. But I had to put my iron away to film. So this is Transpride Tapestry and you can't really tell but I did do quite a bit of work on this this year. I did the entire outline of the unicorn and I did some fill in this year and I think that over the next year I should have the unicorn done because it is a focus project of mine something I really want to get done I'm taking off all of my needles something I'd really like to get done the colors are beautiful I'm still on the fence of whether I want to do the flowers or not. This is on... This is on... Oh, it's right here. Uh, 32 Count Lucy and Ricky by Fortnite Fabrics. And I'm using Whisper Floss for the unicorn to make it actually fluffy. And it's very fun. I just use Whisper on the top of the X, the top diagonal of each X, paired with a thread of 3865 DMC. I think, yeah, yeah, just plain white, or it could be blanc, doesn't matter. Um, but I use one strand of Whisper with one strand of, of floss, and then that way I don't have as many problems with it. It's strengthened, and it doesn't knot up on the back. So you can kind of see there. So 
That is Trans Pride Tapestry by D's 20 Stitches. I'm so sorry I didn't say that. June 1st, 2022. That was my Pride start for 2022. And then, okay. We have one that I haven't touched in a long time. Likely isn't gonna come out for a little while longer unless I get a wild hair. This is a Barbara Anna design called Santa the Dove in the Key and I don't think I've touched it. I think it's exactly where it was last time. So I have the dove, the key, um, and some snowflakes and this beautiful fabric this very rustic is Lappin Loops Muadib in 28 count. Lappin Loops is from Richmond where I'm from originally and they dye really 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 well. Look at this fabric. So pretty. Highly recommend. Uh, and this I love Barbara Anna. This is my first Barbara Anna piece. And I started it on August 20th, 2022. I think we were doing a Barbara Anna stitch along or something at the time. But it doesn't say on the card on the inside of this project bag. So I'm not entirely sure. And I think I am using my own stash floss for it also. Okay, next. Ooh, I love this one. I'm getting out the massive project bag first. For those of you who have been around for a while, uh, you'll all recognize this one, and if you, if they, this is your first time watching my videos, thank you for watching the video this far. Please consider subscribing. It's free. <laughs> you'll make my day. This is my friend Ashley, Monkey and Mouse, and this incredible mermaid bag does not hold a mermaid. In fact, it holds. Gaia, the Earth Goddess. But the reason that I chose this bag is because of the colors. Colors are very similar. And I don't know if you noticed this, but I very rarely ever use the called for fabric unless it's from a small business. And that's because of my principles. I don't know. Uh, I, I live in Ireland. I do not live in the United States, so it is hard for me to get um, U.S. fabric dyers. So most of the time, if I'm not supporting my bestie and buying their fabric, I am buying from a European dyer most of the time. Well, this one definitely has a change. So this is Gaia last year um, in August. And I did spend time with Gaia this year. Ooh, I can barely hold it too close. She's huge. I really hope that I started this far enough down on the fabric. I will be going up soon. Uh, but yeah, Bella Filipina designs. She's gorgeous. I love the long lines of color. I do not like the chart and I really do wish there was a digital version. I understand why some designers don't want to do that, but it sure does make it hard. Anyway, that's Gaia and once Miss Cherry Blossom is finished, I will be going back to this. But I'm trying to focus on one pretty lady at a time, if that makes sense. I started getting kind of FOMO. I don't have a very good rotation system right now. 
but I'm, I'm just trying to focus on finishing some of these things because some of them are pretty close to a finish and others like my Chatelaine and Heaven and Earth designs, they are years and years away from a finish. So if I finish the little things, I'll have more time for the big things. I didn't realize what I liked when I started stitching. All right, so next up is one that I'm thinking about uh, retiring as well. Actually, I will retire this one. Don't really need to talk about it. Uh, this one is in the same position it was last year and it doesn't look like it's gonna come out again. Uh, this is Ghost Stories by The Witchy Stitcher. Again, not a witchy stitcher problem. Um, this particular one is just that I have a lot of other Halloween projects and this one's not calling me. This is beautiful fabric. Um, I actually don't know what fabric this is. I think it's a bee stitch me, um, but it's not. I think that this would be good for something else and I'm not feeling it right now. So because I have all the, have all the floss and possible fabric, um, I am gonna just retire this. You know, it's been, when did I start? I started this, oh, sorry, hold on. <laughs> I started Gaia September 1st. I started Ghost Stories November 4th of 2022. I have not stitched this since November 4th of 2022. It is time to let go. And repurpose this beautiful bag. It's my 805 stitcher bag. The pattern came in a box. I believe that it was the Black Needle Society box. Just have not reached for it at all and I don't want it to be clogging up my whip list when I, I have no intention of going back to it. All right, next. Oh, it's not this one. It is this one. Another project that I took to Stitch North in a lollipop stitches bag. This is my modern folk embroidery holiday countdown sal from 2022. I took this to Stitch North. I took it to the States. And unfortunately, I, I have not been able to stitch on it since Stitch North, and it's totally wrinkled because I could not find it uh, when I was ironing everything else. But this is it. Very nearly done. It'll be such a relief to have this finished. This is on April Showers by Be Stitch Me, and I believe it's 16 count with a hand dyed floss or hand dyed silk by Silks For You. Gorgeous, love it. Get lots of compliments for this project. Yeah, April showers and I don't know the, the rest really. I think that's it. Um, it was my intention to finish this at Stitch North, but I didn't realize how much talking and moving and everything I'd be doing. It's not finished yet, but it's getting there. Ooh, no. Oops. Just zip some floss in the zipper. All right. Next is from the Burb Box. 2022 February Vieri Burb Box by Mislaid Pages, which was the blue version of this box. Um, there were charts and fabrics 
look out for bird boxes in the future. Maybe not next year. Um, we'll see what happens because uh, Jesse is a busy person with a regular job as well, as well as the side hustle. Uh, so I started Bendy Stitchy's Pocketbook Peacocks and I don't think that I have moved on this since last year. It's so cute. I love this funky bird. This is going to be a really cute design. It's got like flowers and hearts and another bird facing this way. I love that fabric. It's so funky. It's very orange, but it's also very funky and the silks are a dream. I love the silks and I have it in here. This is my Betty home decor bag. The fabric is called Awakening by Mislaid Pages. And it is a 32 count. Yes. Let's see. That's the finish. So, so, so pretty. Next up is Ego Death by Night Spirit Studio. This is another one that I think I think I might actually let go. I purchased the kit or the kit. I purchased the chart from Night Spirit Studio on Etsy to support them. And I love this fabric, but I messed up. You might not be able to tell, but I know where the mistake is. It's all the way at the beginning, technically, or or on the E, however you want to put it. Um, this is misaligned, so this is misaligned, and now I have to rip all of that out. And I'm not sure if I want to put this on my wall or in my journal. I think it's too big for the journal. And I'm looking at this fabric, and I'm like, you know what? I feel like I could put something else on there. So... Also, I'm not a fan of the silk that I used. It's very, bunches up quite a bit. Oops. If you look at the back, not quite like my other projects. So I think I might, I might say goodbye to this one. And this is, oh, what is it called? What's the name of the of the thing. Elixir by XJU. No. Yeah. Elixir by XJU Designs. Love it. Love it so much. I just, I've made enough mistakes on this project and it's so small that I'm ready to retire. Because it's not very, it's not very big. Alright, next up is a printed cross stitch. This is from the company Oraloa and it is a licensed printed cross stitch uh, company. They do diamond paintings, puzzles, and now printed cross stitch or stamped cross stitch. The artist, there is an artist of this. You can get this in cross stitch form or as a diamond painting. And I think it's a really great idea to finally have licensed art as printed cross stitch or stamped cross stitch. So yes, this is going to be beautiful when it's finished. This is what it will look like. Isn't that pretty? Stunning. It comes with the floss and um, just like a, a traditional stamped cross stitch kit. It would come with um, the floss, the needles, thimbles, canvas, chart, everything. And I thought it was very competitively priced and genuinely if you're buying stamped cross stitch kits from Amazon, you are not supporting the artist, you are supporting a machine. 
So I am glad that I finally found a company that will support the artist and send them money for their actual art. Please check them out. They keep coming out with new things and it's wonderful. I started that on August 23rd and I started Pocketbook Peacocks on March 14th. I started Holiday Countdown Sale on December 2nd, 22. Right, I'm way behind on that, so this is taking me a little longer than I expected, so eek. Somewhere in there, excuse me, I, September 15th of last year, so this was after our last whip parade, I started a couple things. So these are brand new to the whip parade. This is Mermaid of the Season Stitch Along by Bella Filipina. Started September 15th. And she is beautiful. This is a set of four mermaids all together on this fabric. It's gorgeous fabric. This is Cosmos by Be Stitch Me. And I believe this is a 32 count linen. Isn't that just, oh, it looks 3D. It's stunning, I love it. I am in two minds about this project though. I did make a mistake. Um, I do not want to rip it out. The fabric is stunning. I have all of the flosses and beads for this piece, but I'm quite tired of it already. And I haven't even finished the first one. Oh, sorry, it's not called Cosmos. It's called It's a Mystery, 28 count. Um, I think that the fabric is too small. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, I have all of the beads and everything, all of these crinics. Like, I have everything for it. I think I just started it in a rush. And I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have started another pretty lady. But we'll see. This is not on a priority list for me, and it's also not being retired, but I just realized that I stopped telling you about the bags. If you have a question about what bag is from where, let me know in a comment. I don't mind answering. Um, next. All right, I've got, I've got these, I think, don't remember when I started what. I believe that I actually started this first. This is not in my notion. You saw this last year. I don't remember when I started it. This is Heaven and Earth Design. Why is it, why is it when I, when I film? It's like, that's the perfect day for everybody to do landscaping. Just wondering. All right, I'm gonna back up. Adele Sessler's Beautiful Secrets. I'm doing the no background version. 488 by 661. And I started with her face. Because it is just above the middle of the piece and I thought that by giving her a face I would be more more called to work upon her. Um, she is going to be beautiful. She's also going to be huge. I think she's almost life-sized. The fabric that I'm using is called Malibu. Right. Malibu 20 count. I'll just give you an idea. This is the size of the fabric that I am working with. It's actually, it's so big. It's a blanket. It's a blanket. <laughs> So, I, I do not feel like I need to work on this 
that often right now because I have another Heaven and Earth design that is my primary focus or goal. This one I just wanted to start because she is very, very pretty. I had the funds. I had the dry. And now that she's kind of, she's got a little work done, I'm good. I'm good. She can stay in there for a while. This is not the last one, is it? Is it? No, no way. No, 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 no. It's not the last one. It's the last one of last year. This is Axel the Axolotl. <laughs> this was a gift from a subscriber. And it's almost finished. Look at this. I started this December 1st of last year and I was given one color a day and that part of the pattern. I actually had to spoil it for myself and I had to get the final pattern and digitize it so that I wasn't making mistakes all the time because I had a lot of trouble. The designer of this is Happy Little Mouse on Etsy and it is called it's not called Axel the Adolotl. It's it's prop probably called Axolotl. Yeah. But um yeah, it's it's adorable. And this is just on a piece of 14 count Ada that I had. Oh, I really enjoy it and I would like to finish it. This is another project that I think is gonna go downstairs with me when we have to do the renovation. Sorry, I don't know, I don't know what I was saying. This is a project that's gonna go downstairs with me when we do the renovations. Cause I think I can finish that. And then, and then, and then, I have a couple more. Um, I'm trying to remember when I started them though. Do I have a start date on this? I don't. And I think that was after this. So, okay, next. Another Kaylee tent stitch bag. This beautiful project is, and I'll have to take it off the Q-snap, so pardon me for a few minutes. Um, this is the D's 20 Stitches Stitch for Pride Sampler. If you are watching this video before the 25th of June, run, don't walk, to D's Instagram, D's Ko-Fi, D's channel, I'll have links down below. Run! This pattern is going to go away again into oblivion and never to be sold again. So please, please go get it. It is worth it. Uh, the, the proceeds from the pattern are going towards Dee's top surgery. So you'll be supporting someone and you'll be getting the learning, the patterns. It's a very fun, very fun stitch. So this, I was not anticipating to take out and show you the whole thing, but of course I am. This is January, February, March, April, and May. It's not finished. But this is a sampler each month you get a motif you get learning about someone in the lgbtqia2s plus group uh that is an artist and has you know done something for the community in one way or another we get to learn about it and then we get to stitch something that represents them and the impact that they've had for the world and us so it's really fun and some people are choosing to do these motifs individually and some people are like me and stitching it on mislaid pages determination. So this is a hand dyed fabric by Jessie and 
yeah, I'm absolutely loving this project. I look forward to stitching the Nuna motif every month. I'm using my own floss conversion from the called for because I was not quick enough to get my hands on it. So June 25th, please go, please go quickly and go get yours. If you have been watching me stitch this up for a couple months and you're like, oh man, I wish I had gotten it. Now's your chance. Please go get it. All right, I'm using mostly dinky dyes and some, I think I have one other specialty floss in there. Uh, fiber on a whim, I think, maybe. That was my big new year, new start on January 2nd. And then, this one must be next. This one, I don't have a date for you right now, but this is Jessie's own pattern. You are enough. This late pages, you are enough. This came in this year's February Burb box. This pink one over here. And this is on her own hand dyed fabric with the silks that came in the box. And the needle minder from the box. It was very fun. It's fun all over. The fabric is called Flourish. 40 count linen. I got the 40 count box this year. And it's so pretty. So this year's box also, it had, it had like six patterns, but I wanted to start Jessie's first. I don't have a start date on that, but I think it was in February or March or something. And then lastly, My newest new start. Another Kaylee bag. I've been talking about this for so long. Y'all must be sick of me. But I decided at Stitch North that I would put in one stitch in the, the stitch to rule them all, Sal. Can't even see it. <laughs> All right, do you see the lettering? Tell me you can see that. So I went ahead and I put in one little X in the middle to call it a start. I got myself a needle minder for the project. It is a sparkly frog. I'm using over dyed my myself um, over dyed floss that is a DMC DMC 69 the variegated and then I over dyed it with coffee and I'm going to or was it tea can't remember and I'm gonna cut off the lightest bits when I get to those and just use the darker redder colors and this is my modern folk embroidery Namarie tapestry, which I'll put, I'll put a picture there so you can actually see it. And I'll make sure I print out one and put it in the bag at some point. Um, I do not have, I'm not concerned about when I finish this. I just wanted to have a project that my friends did that might be fun to do while I'm watching Lord of the Rings because I love watching Lord of the Rings. Usually have a watch party at least once a year, if I can. All right, give me two minutes and then I will come back to wrap this up. All right, so plans. 
plans for this year, the rest of this year. Um, fingers crossed I will be able to do a whip parade for you in um, just just after the winter solstice. Because um, it's nice to do these twice a year. Um, I think that my my focus is just to stay sane while we're doing renovations on the house. It's quite involved. So the projects that I bring with me down into the flat, I have to choose carefully. And they have to be stuff that's easily done either sitting in bed or sitting on the little couch that we have down there. Um, our old couch from our old house. So that'll be nice. It's nice and cozy. It is my old stitchy spot. Uh, but it is a very small area, so I have to choose carefully. I haven't quite decided yet, but since we are moving in there in September, likely, I'll probably bring with me Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. Um, and anything that's digital. I might bring a couple things like Axel, um, stuff that I know that I can finish so, so I can share that with you. But like I said, I am giving up on WhipGo this year. I don't think that it's possible for me to stay at the same pace that I was at with that before. I'm going to keep doing my Stitch for Pride sampler through the rest of the year. That is one big thing. And also I have round robin pieces. I'm in a round robin, two round robin groups. Uh, one of those, um, I don't know if I can put in pictures, but I've shared it on socials. So follow me, please, on social media. I post on Instagram and cross post to Facebook. Um, Rachel Ray Official is my Instagram handle, and I do post a lot of stitching on, on Instagram and, and Facebook. Um, and I also notify you when my videos go up, so um, it is shared between this channel and my diamond painting channel. So you will see diamond painting as well, but it is more stitchy, I will, I will admit. Um, but yeah, because I have to... I have a lot of things going on the, the rest of the year. I imagine that it will be more focused, my stitching will be more focused on the sows and on my round robins. And then when I have the time, I'll be able to focus on my other projects. I would love to finish Miss, Miss Cherry Blossom this year. That would be amazing. Um, I really thoroughly enjoy working on her. And when I remember, I bring her out on Mondays for Mira Monday. But I've found that um, I've kind of gone back into the flow of like, I find a project that I really desperately want to work on, and I work on that for a couple of days, and then I'll put it away. And I'll bring something back out. And I'll work on that for a couple of days. And then I'll put that away. So my stitching has slowed down. I'm not on a daily rotation anymore. I find it, I find at this moment that like switching projects a lot is a little bit too chaotic for me. Um, doing all the work of taking it out, putting it on the snap, getting all the flosses, getting my head, head around the pattern. It really, it really kind of, uh, I don't want to say annoys me, but it just, makes me feel kind of some kind of way. So anyway, that is bringing me down to 24, 25, 26 whips from where I was before. What did I say before? Was it 34? So we've, we've kind of nixed a couple of them. I'm happy with the ones that I have left. And hopefully by this time next year, you'll see that there's some big changes. I would highly, highly recommend you check out my link tree. I have, if you go to my socials and you click on the link tree, that's kind of like a place where all the links live, you know. Right now I'm trying to help a family in Gaza to get out. And there will be a link in this video if you wanna check it out and um, maybe share that. If you can't make a donation, please share it. 
Um, it's Fatima and we're trying to get her out. Um, I have been trying to do my best. I don't cross stitch a lot of craftivism right now, but I have been purchasing patterns from people who are trying to bring awareness to the fact that what's happening there is genocide. And I really hope that we don't have to go another 80, 90 days before there's a ceasefire. Like there will be nothing left. It's atrocious what's going on. The lives lost. And so I would just like to, to say if you can help, please help. Uh, if you would like to check out some craftivism patterns, I do have a couple of them listed in the description of this video as well. Um, the intersectionality between craft and politics has always been there, uh, and I recognize that. Uh, personally, for me, a lot of stuff has been going on behind the scenes in my in my life, and I'm not as present and as I as I want to be. Um, especially with the lack of updating you guys here on FlossTube, maybe I'll be able to get back to a place where I could do weekly or uh, bi-monthly updates. But at the moment, life is just like, it's, throw it's throwing me for weird loops these days. But it is good to sit down and talk about cross stitch for a little while. Um, it really is. And I, I did have a blast at Stitch North. I suppose now would be a good time to draw the winners of those giveaways, huh? So let me go ahead and uh, get that set up so that we can find out who won the bag and the patterns. All right, the first giveaway is going to be uh, the, the pink polka dotted bag from Kaylee with the mystery fabric and beautiful pride fabric and the little needle minder as well. There were 22 responses. So I'm going to use Google to do the random number picker right now. Maybe. There we go. Number 17. Number 17 is Shelly Hannah. Congratulations. I'm going to go ahead and highlight your name here so that I can send off that bag to you. Congratulations. Thank you all so much uh, for, for going and leaving your responses on the Google Forms. All right, so there's two copies of the chart, a gift for you from JB. And there were 18 people who asked to receive the chart. So let's draw two numbers and match them up with names. First is number four. Number four is Christy Milhorn. Ooh, congratulations, Christy. Go ahead and highlight you there. Perfect. And the second number is 18. 18 is Leah Ray. Congratulations, Leah and Christy. And, and Shelly, <laughs> congratulations to all three of you on your wins. I hope that you enjoy them. Uh, soon I will actually have more uh, little gifts for you all. So make sure that you're subscribed. And uh, when I shout it out in the video, I just ask you to go down below and click on the giveaway link because I used to have like a massive database of everybody's addresses and email addresses, but it got messy because people have to move. So now it's just every time that you see something that I'm giving away that you want, I ask you to fill in the form. That way there's never any mix ups and it always gets to you on time and the right address. <laughs> it's really important. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm sorry I didn't have my normal energy, but it is very good to spend some time with you. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching uh, and giving this video a thumbs up if you can. And I will see you all very soon for another update where I just show off anything that I've been working on. And who knows, we might have a finish or a finish for now, 
with my rod and robin. So take care and stay safe everybody and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye!